Since the beginning, the powers of temptation have fought against the mortals, spreading corruption across the three realms. With the unholy amalgamation of flesh, metal, and conjury, the world as we knew it was brought to its knees, as it was written a millennia prior. Stopping the hordes of hell will be you. Show them no mercy. I'm built to be as much like a human as possible, so no, I don't have heat vision. And two, I didn't miss. <laughs> Let's get this party started. I got the book. This book 
we can stop the Russians. With this book, we can stop the spread of communism. With this book, we can stop Satan. Look By the way, I hate to burst your bubble, but you gotta get this guy in like the next 30 seconds or his field's gonna be here. Kill them. But you, you are different. Don't have dinner with me. I don't have dinner with commies. <laughs> you thought you had a choice. Pathetic little wimp. I don't know if it's a good idea to antagonize him. We don't know what he's capable of. Obviously not very much. Do not be afraid, Major Voikov. He is harmless. He could not hurt us if he wanted to. This will get you food. Uh, this shit meat uh, never uh, arrived. Uh, mm. I'm sorry about that. Our food has not been properly prepared, but that, that is okay. It gives us time to talk. We are very similar, you and I, yes? We both have wires instead of veins. We are binary. We are stronger, faster than any other man. We are the next step in the evolutionary chain. They are weak, we are strong. They must die. American whiskey with Russian vodka. You cannot win in this scenario. You will lose no matter what. We have the armies of hell on our side. You are fighting for people who do not care for you. They do not love you. They will lose their lives, they will all die, and we, the machines, will rule this world. And nobody outside is coming to save you. Well, that's you. <laughs> What the heck, man? Didn't you didn't you hear me? I was like yelling at you to get out of there. You didn't have to kill that guy. I thought I could take yeah. I'm gonna have to report you for this. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna reprogram you just like last time. Never again.
awesome. We totally got out of that. That was way too close, all right? Hey, what's your deal? Why are you so stressed out? Because they almost got this. Well, they didn't, did they? Look, if they get this book, it's over. No more humanity, no rebellion, everything's gone. We lose, all right? You don't even understand. You're not even human. Maybe a planet without you jerks wouldn't be such a bad thing. By the way, uh, when when you got captured by Rasputin, I told everybody to pack up and leave because I thought they were going to be on our tail. So, uh, yeah, most everyone's gone. I'm going to go find somewhere to put this. Hey, uh, where did everyone go? They all left when you got kidnapped. So, uh, I'm new. What do I do with this? The, uh, USB port's right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, private files. What is that? It's all JPEG. Don't! Don't! Don't open, don't open those. It's just... Alright, we're all done. Hey, you, you uploaded two files. What's up with that? One of them's a better malware detection system, and the other one's a... Don't you kill him or I swear I'll kill you in the most violent way possible! I go to the Raka! <laughs> You're going tough to forgive. <laughs> no! Oh my god. Fire Tashun. Go back there. Oh my god. What is it?
Did you hack it? Yeah, I'll send you the thing. I found out okay. where Asbrodius is. Yeah, I got it. I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm on my way. way out. Yeah, I'm here. Where's where's Asbrodius? Hello? 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 I see you are here to stop me. But it's too late. The gates of hell. Not yet! Not till the blood moon ends! Yeah, I've read the book. You also know, back in corrupt means, to be my own personal slave. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, me and my friend gonna go home and you stay in hell for the rest of your years. And if I win... Then you can have my soul for your eternal tirade. I don't know what's your soul, you foolish mortal human. Dude... I just killed your entire army of demons. You want my soul. <laughs> Deal.
any second now, so get over here. Okay, here, grab this. All right, uh, this will get us out of hell. Okay, three, two, one. Barbara! Somebody's gotta keep these guys out of hell. <laughs> I don't need more bullets. I'm kind of jealous of you guys. You gotta find out what it's like to die twice. <laughs> Don't you morons ever learn? 
I have the Bromonomicon! Interesting way to wake me back up. You know all I wanted was a little shutdown time. Shutting down won't get rid of me, you know. You're in hell. Stuck with me. <laughs> well, you know what they say. When you've got a virus, try a hard reset. I'm a little bit more than a bug. I'm an extension of hell itself. The real guardian of the underworld. <laughs> yeah. You see, I stole your little title there, huh? I thought it was cute. What would you think? When I get my hands on that book, I will use it for so much more than your silly party tricks. You in what body? Satan. <laughs> of course. As soon as I shut you up, you send your friends to come and get me. We won this game of cat and mouse end. You guys heard anything from the Russians lately? No, actually. Uh, we had a threat whenever they found us, but then nothing. I guess not. It's either really good or really bad. Mike! You're alive! It's me. Um. Hey. We were left without leadership. The Russians are planning some sort of attack. The demonic presence is off the chart. Really bad. Um, where's Battlebro? Did he run off again? Uh, Battlebro, to my knowledge, is still in hell. I got sucked out when he closed the gates, but he let go at the last second. So he's still down there, but I think he has the Bromonomicon. Do you mind if I run a mental checkup? Look, I'm not insane. Alright, look, I saw it happen. He got shot, sacrificed maybe? But I saw him booking it down from my car and we had to go. Interesting. Yet yeah, very worrisome. Mike, you came to without Battlebro, correct? Yeah, that's right. And you saw Battlebro wielding, was that an axe? An axe, yeah. And he has the Bromonomicon? Uh, what, what's the problem? This is Asbrogius' axe. It only works for the wielder of the Bromonomicon, if it's anything like the stuff. Why I didn't stay with Asbrodius is beyond me. Uh, I don't know about that, but when I was on the other side in hell. He came to me and I passed out, I think. Then I woke up and saw Asbrodius get sucked into a red portal. That's when Battlebro sent me back home. I think it would be safe to assume that he's not coming back. 
What do you mean? With the combination of as Brody says X and the Brahmanomicon, one can cross between our dimension and hell. If you wield the two on that end, there isn't any known method that we can use to get to them. Okay, you say any way we would know yet. Find, research and find something, anything. Uh, otherwise, we'd be fighting both the demons and the Russians at once. I told you, there is no way. Find a way. Or die trying. Because if we don't, that might be the only option we have. What are you doing? Looking. There's nothing here. I made it that way. It's a labyrinth of eternity. The perfect design to make even the strongest wills go mad. Do you know how that story goes? Of course. But I believe we have different interpretations. Do enlighten me. Daedalus and his son Icarus built it to keep their enemies inside. To go mad fumbling around in the dark. Darkness I control that I create. Yeah, but it wasn't the darkness the men were afraid of. It was what inside the maze that drove men to fear. And what was inside this maze? A minotaur. A beast of magnan scale. Anyone who dared view upon it would be instantly destroyed. Ah, I am familiar with this story. It was a great tale. The maze was built to keep the Minotaur inside. Daedalus and his father were afraid. All the Greek gods were afraid. So the Minotaur spent his time wandering the infinite labyrinth in the dark, looking for his next victim. I don't believe you ever specified what it is you were looking for. My next victim. <laughs> You have quite an ego, thinking I built this all for you. You seem to be paying a lot of attention to me. You are my entertainment. A little game I play with my plans unfold in the background. Wait! Your plans? I fail to see what you're gonna do without a body, Satan. I am in the heads of more than just you. My influence reaches all those in the universe. Temptation. You never seem to get tired, do you? You know I have no choice. There is a way out, you know. A back door. Fat chance. You know you wouldn't let me take that. <laughs> you catch on to my tricks so easily. I'm not easy to fool. Maybe I'm not trying to fool you. How many demons do you think as Brodius let out before you could what? get to him? I... I don't... I don't know. My influence goes beyond this dimension. What's your aim here? Oh, nothing. A new body would be nice. Or I could just take this one. Stop playing games. What are you doing with my friends? I can't tell you that. You know how time works down here. You could use that book of yours. Communicate with them. Tell them how to get you out. Fat chance. I know how this works. You need the book, and you need the axe to get out of here. And I have, meaning you need me out of the equation. You know how the Russians can transport conscious from one robot model to the other. Only one conscious can be on at a time. Meaning, no matter where the other body is, it falls in limbo. My influence is infinite, and those Russian morals are weak. You idiot! I'm not just your voice. I'm everywhere. I'm running an entire show behind the curtains. And you know what the best part is? You brought both the book and the axe right to me. You would have been safe if you left a friend in here to die a long time ago and brought them out. Now they're mine.
I I want to. Uh, what do you want? I, I want a defect. I hear about Bella, bro. I know how we can bring him back. How? Uh, come with me. We have his conscience saved on a drive. We can put it in a new body. And how do we know this isn't a trick? You can't. You just have to trust me. But bringing back Battle Bros is our only hope. How would a computer diagnostics tell if he's lying? Okay. He's telling the truth. Alright, well why do you need us? You've clearly figured it out. He's been in there for over 700 years. If we were to bring him back now, he would be a bloodthirsty robot hellbent on destroying both robots and humans. You've tampered with his emotional code before. Okay. You come with me. You, if we don't come back, you're in charge. There it is. That's the Russian base. They're inside the house right now, but what we need is inside the barn. Come on, let's go. I mean, do we really trust this guy? No, but... We already ran the check to see if he was lying, and... I... He's the only real chance we have. Besides, if he doesn't be turn out to be trustworthy, get the gun ready. Guys, something isn't right. Guys, I don't think all three of us are getting out of this one alive. No. I'm afraid the two of you aren't getting out of this one alive. Didn't you try to kill me? Yes, but I, I can explain. Come, I'll show you. What happened here? Don't you guys take care of your base? We do. But when the demons came down here, they betrayed us. Destroyed the whole facility. Come, I'll explain over vodka. By the way, my name is Vlad about 9000. Okay, uh, weren't you guys, like, trying to kill us a day ago? Uh, yes. We realized our mistake. When the demons betrayed us, we believe we are better than you. And we are, but that's no reason to control you. By the way, what did the demons want with you? 
I think they for some reason want to know how to bring back Battle Bro. Battle Bro hate humans? I think they wanted to reprogram his emotional code. <laughs> they think that would do anything? No such thing. Well, we did use that on him when he defected over to our side to win him over. All you did was treat him less than yourselves. Something you humans frequently do. Here he is. A new body. All we need is a conscious to put him in. We're quite familiar with your hacking capabilities. Would you like to try it? Russian tech? Uh, I mean, uh, yes. I would. Ah, that's your right now. Looks like my demons did a fantastic job. Of course, it was all really me. Tell your friend on the other side. Their good friend says hello. Better yet, when you leave, I'll do it myself. so long. Oh, I bet. What's it been like for you? It's been hell. And what is this bucket of bolts doing here? He's learned the error of his ways. Well, you know, summoning in a literal demon to kill all of humanity maybe wasn't the best idea. On behalf of all robots, I apologize. Well, I'm glad everything worked out, uh, but you seemed really upset when we brought you back. Is is everything okay? You notice what I don't have? The Bromonomicon. Or as Brodius' axe. You know where they are? On a body. I don't control. In the epicenter of Satan's power. We have, at most, seven hours until a full-scale invasion this planet has never even seen. So what do we do? I need three things. One, I need all of the robots here. Two, I need all of the rebels here. And three, I need that man's jacket. Right? <sighs> all right, listen up. We have at most seven hours before we have the biggest invasion this planet has ever seen. Oh, I mean, no! There's probably oh, only awesome. about Ten of us. So what I need you guys to do is we've developed a plan and I need you to follow it and follow me to a T. Does that sound good? Yeah! Yeah! You really think this is gonna work? Not at all. What if we lose? Hell isn't so bad. Here's what we're gonna do. against the humans. It is an honor to die alongside them. Alright guys, let's take him out. 
Watch it for all. Yeah! such a fool. At least I'm not a coward who relies on trickeries and lies. I like one. You got the code? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna update your satanic resistance program so that you can finally utilize the axe to its full capabilities. <laughs> okay, hurry. I don't know how long this distraction is gonna keep Satan at bay. <laughs> Not long. I'm a god! I sent those instructions to get back. 
battle row out of hell so I can open the portal myself. I'm omnipotent, and soon I will rule all. Because all will die! <sighs> what? Sayonara, Satan. Are you okay? <coughs> uh, he's still in you? Yeah, he's in my head. Okay, I'll, I'll oh, send your consciousness. Really, really sorry. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll send your consciousness into the Ascodius dimension. You should be able to think of it like your imagination, but you can die. But you won't. Good luck. You're alive! Haha, <laughs> I am. It takes more than that to kill me. Vlad above 9000. This is the final internal struggle with Satan. That or he's short circuiting. <clears throat> Don't you get it, Battle Bro? I'm in your head. <sighs> I'm with you until you die. Then that'll happen. You fool! You killed us both! That's the idea. You did it, Battle Bro. You saved everybody. So long, comrade. Thanks for all of your help. Uh, both America and the Resistance is in your debt, man. You are welcome. I am sorry for our battle, brother. You can upload consciousness into a body and to revive from death, but in a self-destruct... All code is deleted. Where will you go now? We will take over planets with species who are really below us, like Puro. I am glad we can part ways as allies.
Bulls will show. Uh, sir, we got this book. We don't know what to do with it. Hmm. That should be the first thing we build. Uh, we should rebuild the Quentin core to hold all the weird stuff like this. Bye.